me record because I ain't going to lie. I need this shit. All right, so there's basically three niggas, the three main niggas that I don't fuck with no more. Like, I don't give a fuck about them. I don't watch them. I don't even stock them. I don't care about them. But when I talk about this in this, like, stream slash video and upload this on YouTube, it's done. I don't care. But um, these three fucking niggas. One nigga gonna be named Cap. He the main one in the group. Cap. Then the the, the one that think he hard, bro. Or, well, I ain't trying to be mean or nothing, but he think he hard and all that. Or, you don't see what I'm you see what I'm talking about when I explain more. But I'm gonna call him Diaper Boy. And the other nigga, Muscle Head. Because he's like dead ass like a muscle head. But remember, no, let's get to the video. But stream. Dang, I haven't been in this now. But, okay, so I had problems with these three niggas for a little while. Now, we have not been cool at all. I ain't cool with them. They ain't my, they ain't my friends. They ain't my homies. They ain't my brothers. They ain't shit to me. They just friend them strangers. What's good? Come and welcome to the stream. So, this is how I'm going to tell you how these niggas almost jumped me, all right? So, let's start with Musclehead. Musclehead, the reason why Musclehead and me don't click because he... He always try to give me advice and shit, and I don't like his advice. His advice be so off. And then he always get mad at me when I'm... It could be doing something really good. Like, I could hit 1K on Twitch, and this nigga gonna be like, bro, that's some bullshit and all this, this and that. Because he also do Twitch, but he don't have that many views. He don't... He not there yet. You know what I mean? He get mad at anything I do. Diaper Boy... I ain't gonna explain too much on Diaper Boy, but... You gonna see... He, he, he a crybaby-ass nigga to me. Um, I don't really get like he hard type of vibes. Like, I'm gonna respect them and all, but like I just don't feel like he hard, and he don't gotta prove to me he hard. I don't care, but like to me, he's just not hard for what he says and what he does. Cause actions, what he does on the media is not right. Damn, cap. This nigga always try to give me advice. He try to preach. He's that. that he's like that preacher that you cannot listen to. That preacher do the opposite nigga. Hell yeah, I cut them niggas straight up. I don't follow them. They still follow me. That's tough. I don't follow most of them. And they are, um, and I left the group chat too. I left the group chat on um, Instagram, iMessage. I don't go. So, let me get this started. So, Cat threatened me before. He threatened me before, but that's another story for another day. Because that, he threatened me before over some stupid shit. Now, the stupid shit that it was, it was so stupid. Because I'm like, damn. He did too much. That nigga went live and talked all that shit. And then he called me on iMessage and then talk cause someone 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 tried to get him to calm down and they he called me and whatever. I don't care. Over some dumb the dumbest shit ever. I ain't gonna lie, I was going a little talk too far on a joke, but I don't think I said anything really disrespectful about the person that he fucked with or whatever. But it's me. Alright, cool. I said something good. I ain't gonna lie, but hey. The niggas is different. Okay. Okay, so let me get how this all started, bro. So it was in August, uh, way before um I think they way before they was in a um senior with senior year for because they seniors. Well, two of them, no, one of them is a senior. Two of them is grown up as shit. Like they in their twenties, bro. That's why I'm like, damn, these niggas not mature at all. But one of them is a senior, and two of them is like grown up. They like in their twenties, bro. Old heads, basically, to me. To me, they old heads. I ain't gonna lie. I am gonna be old head next year, but, like, let's be honest, they, they old heads to me. But, what, what stupid, what happened was, okay, I felt like, because they never really want to hang out with me. When they want to hang out, they'll be the most lamest places, like the mall, bro, or the movies, or the arcade. Bitch, I've been to the arcade too many times, bro. I've been to the mall so many times, bro. I don't want to go to the fucking mall. And when everybody was trying to go in that group, everybody was trying to go to, um, what's it called? The fair, when it came, bro, these niggas was dead ass like, well, we want to go this such and such day. Some some people in the group chat worked on weekends. I don't know who the fuck work on weekends. I know that gets you money and shit, but that's the dumbest shit to ever. I would never work on weekends because, like, what the fuck? I'm trying to, like, do stuff on weekends. Like, weekdays is when you do schoolwork and job. I do not fuck with that shit on the weekend. That weekend shit is for me. Like, I get my two days, my three to two, three, two to three days, and I go back to school or whatever I do. You know what I'm saying? But besides the point, that shit was off. One nigga would, I could have told, I should have known he was like, something wrong with him. He's snakish. Because he didn't tell the group chat he went to the fair that day. But he was just with his other friend. I'm like, you didn't say nothing, bro. You could have like, 
invited us or something, but nah, it wasn't like that. Every time I got invited to something, it'd be something lame or it'd be something that I'm like, I'm trying to save my money for something else instead of like going with them. Cause like, bro, like I'm just that chill nigga. I'm, I'm that chill nigga to the group until like I actually pop off and do some shit. But, um, I had problems with these three niggas before in the past. Diaper boy. <laughs> Let me tell you about diaper boy. Diaper boy is in his twenties. He's a gangster. Nothing. There's a lot of, I ain't, he's a gangster. I ain't gonna lie, he's a gangster. All right, cool. But for a gangster, this nigga, like, I didn't, this is the reason why I stopped being friends with him, personally, is because he do too much. He also do too much for someone in their 20s and a gangster. Like, bro, like, what the fuck? And then two, like, he always asks me for fucking Ubers. Now, let me, let me get this straight. Ubers. Ubers cost money. This nigga fucking asked for Ubers. Let me tell y'all this. He asked me for fucking Ubers. And I just like it. I ain't gonna say the shit I did for him, but no. He kept asking for Ubers. I don't fuck with that shit. If you're my friend, I don't expect you to ask me for a lot of shit. And this nigga had a job. But I don't even know what the fuck happened to that money he made from the job. Because I'm like, nigga, you got a job. Why you asking me for Ubers, bro? Like, I'm gonna pay you back this and that. Like, no, bro, I, uh, uh, like, nah, that, that's the main, main reason I stopped being friends with him. Muscle hair, he just do too much. So, let me tell you what happened in August. So, I felt like as this that no one really wanted to do actual good shit that I wanted to do. They wanted to do the stuff that they wanted to do in the group, but they didn't want to do my stuff like parties or anything or, um, skydiving or something, like, something, because I don't want to go to the mall. I don't, like, I've been to the mall too many times, the same mall, like, nigga, no, I'm not going to the fucking mall, nigga. I'm not going! Then number two, he'd be the most dumbest bullshit ever. I'm like, no. Three, they always, they was inviting people in the chat that I didn't really fuck with. Or I didn't fuck with personally because of something, because of that mutual with someone I didn't fuck with. And I really didn't fuck with them because I'm like, I don't know them. They're not loyal to me. They don't, they're not my friend. I don't know them. I can't say nothing about them. But like, I can't really fuck with them like that. They just inviting people that they want to invite. But oh, if I, when I had, when I made some new friends, you know, whatever. When I invited them, he was like, oh, it's not the group chat for that type of shit. But, 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 hold on. You invite niggas I don't know. And then this another nigga invite niggas I don't know either. So it's like, you stupid bitch. You stupid bitch. Because why the fuck you inviting people you know? And, but I don't know. But when I do it, it's a problem. Like, they, they had a problem with me. Everything I did, like, it's, like, it gave me depressed negative vibes. Like, for real, for real. So, you know what I did? I posted on close friends. Now, the girl got mad. I ain't going to say her name. We really close and cool. We still cool. But basically, I posted that uh, all my friends is boring. They is boring. They don't do nothing but FaceTime. That shit is boring. Y'all hang out. Most of them in that group chat do not hang out or do shit. They fucking go to the mall. That's a, that, Bro, bro, I'm not a fucking high schooler no more. I'm not going to the fucking mall, you stupid bitch. No offense, you stupid bitch. I'm not going to the fucking mall. Like, why would I want to go to the mall, bro? Like, if I'm not shopping, I'm not going to the mall. Like, bro, I'm not going to the mall just to chill, bro. I'm not going to the mall to go to movies. Nigga, I am literally do not want to go to the mall. The mall boring. All I see is fucking little kids. They nobody my age. Probably like a few, but I don't. <clears throat> probably like a few, but like, let's be honest with y'all. No. No. So, okay. So I posted that. They didn't see it because I took them out my close friend. They wasn't close to me. So the girl that's still close friend, she got all mad. I guess she got heated up because I didn't tell her what was the problem. Which, I, that was my fault. I should have told her the problem before I posted that. But she told the group chat. When I tell you that these niggas do too much, they do too fucking much. They do so fucking much. When I tell you they do too fucking much. Tell me fucking why. All right. We They did this shit before. But that's besides the point. They went fucking live now they went fucking live now instagram live now the first time they went instagram live they talked that shit i let that shit slide because you know what i thought maybe like it was really my fault it was manipulative on that type of shit so i let that shit slide but the second time i ain't let that shit fucking slide bro i ain't go live and do like do the same thing they did. I ain't do that shit. I, bro, I ain't, the first time, second time, I ain't do that type of shit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't give a fuck. First time, I did go live back. But this time, I'm like, nah, fuck that shit. So tell me why they talking shit about me 
And I'm so glad I didn't put my real business in that chat because I put fake shit in the chat. Like, I acted gay in that chat, no homo. Like, I did that to see what they would do. Like, are they going to tell somebody? Are they going to do this? You know what I'm saying? I I'm testing people because I don't really... They said that I knew them for a long time, but I knew, like, a few of them. But, like, y'all give me snake vibes. Like, y'all was other people that had y'all problems. Y'all, You gave me a little snake vibes. So, that's why I, I did my fake business. They don't know my real business. They <laughs> dumb as shit. Most of them dumb as shit. So, besides the point, though. So, you tell me why. They went live talking that shit. Then they talking about jumping me. They was talking about getting me jumped. Not by three niggas. Because it was, like, three niggas talking about it in the chat. Like, I saw the three name niggas. But tell me why they talking about jumping with 10 to 30 niggas deep, bro. 10 to 30 niggas deep. You got to be stupid as shit, bro. You got to be dumb as fuck. You got to be dumb as fuck. You got to be dumb as fuck to me. To me, you got to be stupid. Why would you backdoor me over this little stupid ass problem because I said y'all boring? Bitch, you is boring. I, uh, bro, these niggas, well... Two of them niggas, all they do, well, one of the niggas, all he do is stay home and worry about girls. And you in your 20s, bro. I don't need you as a homie and friend because, yo, shit, you depressing. He's depressed. I can't stand depressed niggas. Like, bro, you in your 20s. Bro, get a job, bro. Like, bro, some of the niggas in check, bro, get a fucking job, bro. Do something with your life. Get a job. Go to school. Go to college or something. Go trade school. Fucking something. Do YouTube. I don't know. Like, bitch, what the fuck is you doing? Like, they just, like, bro, boring and shit. Like, what the fuck you want me to do? Not say y'all boring. Like, bro, talking about jumping me 10 to 30 niggas deep. Two niggas told me that because they went in that chat and they told me what they said. The girl that went live on there, which I'm still cool with, she didn't do that. She just said, she she agreed that she said he could have just said that. That was a little snakeish and a little fake what he did. Yada, yada, yada. I'm fine with that. But the other three niggas, they talking about jumping with 10, 10 to 30 niggas deep. Is it that serious, bro? Is it that fucking serious? Then they got a random... Then they had someone talking bad on my name that I don't fuck with at all. But I ain't saying names. They ain't defend me on like... Like, what the fuck? Y'all ain't friends for real. Y'all ain't... They, they some bitch-ass niggas. They bitches to me. They bitches. They're not homies. They fake as fuck. I'm showing my true feelings. They was fake as fuck. They're not my friends. You're a bitch. You was a bitch in my eyes. To me, they just give off bitch vibes, bro. I don't believe anything they say or anything. They bid me bitch vibes, bro. I'm telling y'all, like, I, like, I'm not scared, like, I don't think them saying, oh, I'm gonna jump y'all with 10 niggas, it's gonna scare me, does that look like I'm phased, I was not, bro, I was like, they go jump me, bro, <laughs> I didn't call my cousins, I did not care, I did not fucking care, bro, I did not care, bro, you know what, when they said, when someone told me they said they were gonna jump me with 10 plus 30 niggas deep type of shit, bro, I started smiling because I'm fucking crazy, bro. I started, bro, I was on my phone like this when I heard that. When they, someone called me and told me this, bro, I was like, <laughs> I was smiling my ass off like dead ass, bro. I'm fucking crazy, bro. I'm on some anime type of vibe shit. I'm crazy, bro. Like, I will literally, like, bro, I'm angry. When I smile, when someone tells me type, type of, like, depressed type of shit or that angers me, I smile. I don't be mad, mad, like... Bro, nigga, I'm smiling, bro. I'm like an anime character. I'm going to beat your fucking ass if they tried that type of shit. No cap. If they tried to do that type of shit, like, I'm crazy. Like, they don't know me like that. They don't know me. They think they know me, but they never know me. They don't know my mindset. They don't know my mentality. They don't know me personally, what I've been through. Nigga, I am a Gohan nigga. I will go Super Saiyan 2, nigga. Like, what the fuck is they doing? Like, that, that's not trust. I ain't gonna lie. They, I'm not a fighter, personally. But if I have to fight, I will fight. Like, no cap. Like, if you push me to that level, bro, I'm like, go on, bro. Like, you're going to see limits. Like, you're going to see something you do not want to see, and you're going to regret it. Like, come on, dog. So I'm like, I'm smiling a little bit. I'm smiling a little bit on this type of shit. Then, after they got done with their live shit, because I wasn't in there. They thought I was making fake accounts looking. No, bitch. I was not caring, nigga. I was actually on the game. I was actually on the game playing the game. I think I was streaming, too. Yeah, I was streaming and playing the game, too. I was like... Bro, I did not give a fuck. I was smiling when they told me this type of shit. When someone told me this shit. So, an hour later. No, no, no. Then another girl got in there. And then she said I was weird or some shit. Because I was trying to get at her. Let me just tell you about the girl, bro. Bitch, shut the fuck up. This had nothing to do with you. I was like, bitch, this had nothing to do with you, bro. That had nothing to do with you, bitch. Like, it had nothing to do with you. You just got on this conversation because you want some clout. <laughs> Speaking bad on my name. Jumping on top of y'all going to do this and that. 
Never did. Shut the fuck up. The girl, I don't know what you trying to do. Because there was two girls. One of them I don't fuck with at all. But the other one, because she said I try to go out her and shit. Shut the fuck up. You just, you just trying to do that shit for clout, my nigga. You trying to do that shit for clout. <laughs> for clout. The shit is for clout, you stupid bitch. I got you red handed. But besides the point, so then after that, they called me and they add me back in the group chat and they called. But they asked the girl that I, that they said I try to go out with. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I was being a little weird on that um, with a girl. I ain't gonna lie. I was a little desperate. I'm gonna admit that I was desperate at the time for a girl. But then I realized I don't need a bitch. But besides the point, they called me. They was trying to, uh, they wasn't telling me, oh, we're gonna jump you and shit like that this time. They was like, um, they was trying to be all calm and cool and trying to be cool with me again. You know, <laughs> that shit was fucking crazy. I'm like, what? Now, I'm already cool with a girl because I already apologized, but we, we we took a little two-day break and then we got cool again. But the three niggas, bro, called me in the group chat and they tried to be cool with me. Man, you're stupid, B. Bro, I was like, y'all just said on live, y'all was going to jump me, okay, and do this type of shit and expose my fake ass business. Now you want to be cool with me. What type of friendship is this, bitch? This is some snake vibes. That gave me whole snake vibes. I was like, I don't need this negativity, depressed type of shit. I'm like, why Why was they even doing it? They trying to get me uh, to, uh, they was trying to manipulate or try to get me to see their way of possibility, like, bro. But they didn't have to take it to the live, though. They said, but if someone could have screenshot it and then posted it. Bitch, nobody cares. Nobody knows them three niggas. They not famous. No, nobody knows y'all. Bro, nobody knows me like that either. I'm not famous either. Just because I got like a little clout don't mean I'm famous, nigga. The fuck? No one knows y'all. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care about y'all. They don't care. My live, my, this Twitch right here, my, my, oh, my live stream. My uh YouTube, they do not care, bro. They're not going to at y'all or nothing. We, they do not care. They just enjoying this shit, and they're going to like laugh about y'all. We don't give a fuck. I'm laughing at in my head as we speak, bro. We don't care. We honestly don't care. And if y'all still in the chat, type y'all don't care about these three niggas. We don't care. Like, bro, we don't care. I don't care. Like, what y'all what, 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 what talking about? What y'all talking about? So it was like, hey, you don't need to post that. You should have just kept it at us. You could have waited and talked to us about it. But they never listen to me. That's the problem. They never want to listen to me. But they want me to listen to them. Like, I'm not going to listen to no nigga that don't want to listen to me, bro. Like, no no cap. If you're not going to listen to what I have to say, then I'm not going to listen to what you have to say. Don't give me some stupid ass advice if you're not going to take it. I see I see how you move. If you're going to say, oh, cheating on my cheating on your girl is bad as shit. Because I said, you know what I'm saying, cheating kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's not cool, but you know, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? He going to be like, cheating is wrong. But this nigga cheat. Cat cheats. He Cat is the one that give me the preacher shit. And then he don't, he don't go act on his word. Like, how you gonna say you like a girl, but you gonna do something nasty in front of her? Like, you gonna do other stuff with other girls in front of the girl you like? You sound stupid as shit! You sound stupid as shit, and I'm trying to keep it as a respectful level that... You sound dumb as shit. Like, everything he said, oh, cheating your girl's wrong. He cheats on his girls. He said, don't even, uh, talk to your ex or whatever, right? He said that type of shit, but he posts about his ex. Bro, come on, dog. Shut the fuck up, bro. Cat, I don't even, like, we not cool no more. We just not cool. None of the three niggas were not cool. Musclehead, he always get mad what I do. Cool. So they're talking about la yada 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 And then he said at the end, some bullshit, like, no, the girl, no, no, no. The girl jumped in and be like, so why you not talking to me no more? Or something like that. I said, I don't have nothing to talk to you about. And then the musclehead nigga gonna say, oh, because he got rejected. Okay, niggas get rejected every day, okay, and I got rejected. What do I have to talk to the girl about? That's awkward as shit to talk to a girl that rejects you to me. That's a reje If a girl rejects you, you're going to be friends with them. Let's be honest with you. If you don't know them, like you're not their friend or nothing at all, why the fuck? Why the fuck would I still talk to them? If we have nothing in common, if we have nothing in common. She's weird to me. She's weird. She's weird. To me, she's weird. Not going to lie. She's weird to me. Like, to me, like, she just give off them off weird vibes. But, uh, okay. Then they're gonna say at the end, or they're gonna keep giving me yada, yada, blada, 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 yada, 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 blada, blada, blada. Then at the end, let me just say, they say, you wanna be our friends or our strangers. And then I was, I wasn't even speaking. I was just listening. I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Then I cut off, and I just started unfollowing these niggas. I left the group chat again. I unfollowed it on Instagram. I left again because I have a problem with these three niggas. Now, I think I did the right thing is just leaving the whole situation and like dead ass like leaving from them and being in that group and being homies with them because they gave off off vibes. They didn't give me off. They want to do good type of vibes. Cat, the nigga cat wanted to. He he said he didn't want to be a gang, but he want to be something in life. Now he want to be a gang banger, and then like now he like want all the girls and shit. Like ooh, I got all these girls, bro. Just nigga, you is a senior in high school. Of course you gonna get girls because you're a senior. So I, I'm nigga, I'm thinking this nigga push pulling freshman at this point, but okay. And then Musclehead, that nigga just annoys the shit out of me, so I definitely had to be uncool with him. And then Diaper Boy. Diaper Boy keeps trying to be disrespectful. He always trying to start something. Not gonna lie. Let me just tell y'all this. Let me tell y'all this. That was frankly, that really frankly happened. Let me tell y'all this. Alright, so. Recently, I was on live with a girl that was uh, cool with. And he joins. And this nigga, Diaper Boy, get on my nerves. See, the reason why I say I call him Diaper Boy in this video slash stream is because, bro, bro, if, if you knew the shit I knew that he did, I swear to God, bro, y'all be like, some people I told already, like a little people, I'm not going to tell the streamers, you know what I'm saying, YouTube, but some people know what the fuck he have done, and I'm like, they like, wow, that nigga dumb as fuck. Dumb as fuck. But let me just say, he always trying to start something. He always like, oh, it look like me. Because he was trying to be funny and try to roast. This nigga ugly as shit. He's ugly. He's ugly. I don't even know how he get girls. You know what? I know how I get girls. He don't get no girls his age limit. That's that's what I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. But he don't get no girls his age limit. Like, that's sad, bro. That's, that's sad. That means... Someone, someone told me, no girl like you, your age limit or older, that they know you not mentally good and they know you not physically good for them. So, I, I, ugh. He always trying to start something. He always trying to start something. And I, and then, and then he gonna get mad because I said, because his Zodiac sign, because his Zodiac sign, I said I didn't like this such a such Zodiac sign that he is. And it had nothing to do with him personally. This nigga took an offense. And you know what's funny, bro? Bro, bro, he think he's so hard because he just think he's so hard. And I, cause he throw, bro, he, he throw signs up. He throwing them demonic type of Naruto type of signs up. And he think he hard. And he gets so mad when niggas troll him. That shit be so fucking funny, bro. It be so fucking funny, bro. When you, bro, if he on live, bro, and he throw up signs, bro, and someone trolls him, he get all pissed up mad, like, Bro, he get all mad about them repping up another side or whatever. Bitch, you should get mad that you don't got a job. You should have you you still love your parents. Have no money, no job. You just laying there just doing nothing, bro. Like, do something with your life, bro. Like, no cap. Like, no offense. That's why I can't hang with Diaper Boy because he's too he do too much. And he acts like a bum, bro. Like, I can't be around bum niggas. I can't be around bum niggas no more. I need to be around niggas that want to make money. Want to do something with their life, career, something, something. They need something to do. Instead of just lay around the house or do nothing all day, bro. Like, this nigga don't do shit, bro. He don't do shit. He don't do shit. And that's why I have a problem with him. Because he always asks me for shit, and I don't like that shit. I don't like... If you my friend, personally, and you don't ask me for shit, personally, I fuck with you. Because I know... But if you do ask me for shit, I don't mind giving it to you. But after three times, like, if you keep begging and begging and begging every time, bro. I'm No, bro. No, no, no. I'm not going to be that nigga to just help you out, bro. You got to do it yourself, bro. That's why I feel like I can't be cool with him because he do too much and all the other shit. It's just like, bro, he give me depressed ass vibes and he always coming at me too for no reason. So that's why I can't be cool with them three niggas. And that's how I almost got backdoored, a.k.a. jumped by 10, 3, 30 different niggas. Now, I have no hate towards them. I don't hate them. Hate is a very strong word, in my opinion. Hate is very strong. I don't hate them. I don't dislike them. Well, I do dislike them. I don't hate them, though. Hate is a strong word. Hate me and I want to, like, do something bad to them. I don't hate them. I dislike them, yes. Do I have grudges on them? No. You know what? I let the grudges go. 
But I'm not gonna. But am I gonna be cool with them in the future? No. Am I gonna be friends with them in the future? No. Am I gonna be homeless with them? No. Are we gonna rekindle up in the future? No. Because for one, they threaten my life. Talking about gonna jump me over some stupid shit. Two, they like they just annoy me. They always gets on my nerves. Three, they just negative. They always negative towards me. I don't need that negative shit. I don't need that negative vibes around my energy. I don't need that. If I needed that, I would have just. I would have just said, you know, I need negative people. I don't want negative people. I need good, positive people that want to do something with their life. I need something to be cool with. I don't want nobody to get in trouble and shit, go to jail. I'm not, bro, I'm not, no, bro. No, 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 no. You're not doing that type of shit. I want some chill, cool ass niggas to be around with. That play the game, go out, hang out, party and shit, get their work done, go to school, whatever, Um, get their money up, got a job. You know what I'm saying? Simple. It's that simple. I just want cool people to be around with and have money and job and stuff. I can't hang around with them niggas. They're just not it for me. Now, let me tell you this. I read that the reason why I, I'm kind of not cool with this other person too, but we're going to call him Beanhead because he got a Beanhead. Okay, Beanhead is in that group, but I knew him more longer than those three niggas though. I knew him more longer, but then I see like his loyalties for Cat, this, the other nigga, the main nigga in the chat, Cat, and they, he had a birthday party. Now, as you see... He, he he recently said happy birthday to me. That that's just cool. I guess he's not trying to be y'all. I guess he's a little bit more mature than the other three. You know what I'm saying? Cause he wasn't in it. Maybe he should not have been unfollowed or blocked or anything. But I tell you why. Because he knew the situation. But he gonna say I didn't know, bro. Nah, he knew the situation. Even though he barely get on his phone, he still knew the situation. Because when they was at the party, somebody told me I had inside information by two to three people there that said. And they quote and told me that the other two and three niggas told him to not invite me to the party. Now, even if he did invite me to the party, I'm not going to invite them. But why are they scared to invite me? I'm not going to do nothing. Nothing's not going to happen. I'm not going to stare you down to death. I'm not going to keep no grudge, bitch. We had a party. As for my nigga that I'm cool with, I'm not going to fucking care about y'all two, three niggas. I'm going to be caring about the bitches. I'm going to care about the girls. That's all I'm gonna care about. I don't care about the niggas. If I wanna care about niggas, then I might as well be called gay. The fuck? But like, yeah. I would have been fucking with the females, not with y'all niggas. The fuck? Like, hell? The fuck? Hell nah. And I, that's why I say I can't be cool with him because it's like, damn, they told you not to invite me. You didn't invite me. You didn't give me no separate text or anything like that. So I hit this nigga up. I'm like, wow, so you had a party, but you didn't invite me. He was like, ah, you invited. You was invited, bro. Nah, bro. I left the group chat. Y'all been left the group chat. Oh, I ain't know, but they told you, they, they told you so, I ain't gonna lie, bro, I don't know if I can trust you no more, like, uh, I don't know, you was like, you weary on it, you, you weary on it, you really weary on it, you know what I'm saying, that's why I'm not cool with him, and I ain't gonna lie, I gave his gift to my cousin, I ain't care though, it looked better on my cousin than him anyways, I was like, damn, it might look good on him, but like, nah, it just, it just didn't, like, I just not picture it just didn't look good, it looked good on my cousin, so I gave it to my cousin instead, you know what I'm saying, no hard feelings, you know what I'm saying, but, yeah, I ain't really fuck with y'all. Like, it's like, damn, bro. And that's how I almost got backdoor jumped by snake friends. Um, Sometimes you just can't trust people, bro. Some people would just manipulate, lie, just try to change you in a negative way or try to change you in their eyes. Um, I feel like I'm perfect. I'm not perfect, but I feel like I'm good in my eyes. Like, I don't need to change for nobody. That's why I really don't want, don't want no girlfriend or no negative people to change me. I don't want to smoke i don't want to drink that shit not for me uh person i just want to live a good nice life have fun with friends go crazy on youtube twitch get my career school up and everything get my degrees and everything that that that's the only thing i care about you know what i'm saying i don't really care about anything else really um and family that's also i i care you know what i'm saying my family had more backs than them the fuck and it'd be like and two, three niggas I was really, really close with. Like, one nigga I was really close with in that group chat. We still cool to this day because he wasn't like that. He didn't go on live, talk that shit. didn't threaten me at all. He was actually pretty cool with it. He was still mad. He was like, I'm going to fight you, bro. I'm going to fight you. But then someone called it down. And then we talked about the situation. Then we laughed about it. And then we just, like, been cool with it. Like, because he didn't threaten me, threaten me. Like, he didn't say he going to jump me and get me do it all that. Like, like, backdoor type of shit. Like, like, he actually watching the stream. Say, what's up, Dizzy? But, like... Yeah, like, we we got closer, like, that situation, me and him, we got closer, but the other three niggas, bro, hell nah, bro, it was just too toxic, bro, I ain't fuck with them, it's that simple, I ain't fuck with them, it is what it is, um, I hope they don't take this video as a response or take it as a wrong way, like, um, 
they don't, or they can go and do something, go live, bro. Because nobody knows y'all. Don't not text me, don't call me, don't even go live on Instagram. Let me tell you that. They watch this video, don't even do that. Main reason why, because nobody knows y'all. I use Nick, I every, every type of story time, I try to use nicknames, not nicknames, but code names. So no one will really know that they don't know them. They probably don't know my, my people do not care. They're not going to send hate to you. Nobody cares about y'all, uh, rap or cloud or whatever. It, 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 I, we, we don't care. But that's the story time of how I almost got jumped. It is what it is, honestly. And yeah, it is what it is. Now I'm going to uh, stop.